greatest hope actually, f not mine, I hope everybody else's, is the fact that it really bridges um, the gap that the world is right now between the haves and the have-nots, the information societies and the and the sort of industrial societies of, of children who are growing up in the West and those who are growing up in the emerging nations, the level at which they have uh, access to information and the quality of life they will lead because of the internet and, and the transparency that's there, the speed at which they can access information. So I think it's making a huge difference to the next generation, not the generation that's in their 40s now, but the one that's in the 20s, 30s, certainly the one that is in their teens. And I think um, the internet uh, makes a big difference between, will make a big difference going forward between these sets of people, the, the information haves and the information have-nots. And therefore I think it's important that uh, a greater level of access uh, and a, a, a cheaper level of access um, is available to people across the world. And you know, it has many upsides for the emerging countries, for example. They have not been able to deliver the health program, but they can do it with ICTs now. They haven't been able to do banking across the nation, but they can do it with mobile banking now. They haven't been able to create employment opportunities for people, but that can improve uh, because the transparency and the governance will improve because of ICTs now. So I think there are, uh, beyond telecom and, and internet, I think there are other um, sectors that will be very positively impacted because of the whole ICT revolution, not just the internet, but even mobile phones, the whole voice revolution. It will change a lot of things for uh, those who haven't had you know, access to any information for generations.